Well, I audio describe for audiences who are visually impaired and people who are completely blind. Mm -hmm. So if it's a ballet, I'll describe all the movement and who's leaving the stage and who's on, etc. And if it's a musical, you can fill in all the gaps for them. With plays, it's easier because you give stage directions more and say again who's, um, who's on stage and who's acting with who. So I like to do an introduction beforehand so that I can give a cast list and tell um, what the interaction is between the actors. Since my husband died, I wasn't able to go to the theatre for five years. He used to sign for me. Now I've been able to see several BSL interpreted shows and captioned ones. It's marvellous. The main aim of today's talk is to give you the chance to find out more about captioning in theatres in Scotland. Today's Access Day has been organised by Eden Court and supported by the Federation of Scottish Theatres. Captioning is basically um, opening up more to a larger audience. Um, and, it, and I think it's, it's also helpful for people that don't even realise they have some sort of hearing difficulty. Often there are one or two key words that I miss uh, when I go to the theatre and that's when I find captioning is particularly useful. Without captioning, I would not go to the theatre. There's no point going to a play if you can't hear the words. Although I hear well enough so I could cope, I use captioning as an assistance and substitute. For example, if I miss something one of the actors said, it's so easy to follow. It's great. Terrific. Captioning, there's no point in me going to the theatre, I just don't care. Training of new and existing staff should include captioning. It's essential that they are aware. I think today being in there and she was doing the talk and seeing it queuing gave you a very definite idea of where you should be sitting and you know the speed at which it goes. It's just really be able to tell the customers if they come in and ask now that we will be able to say, well, this might be better and watch, if you need to be at this side, you can peek at that one and ruin the angles. Mm. Yeah, we'll be a lot more confident talking to our audiences about it now. I like an interpreted performance because in captioning, sometimes they use long words which I don't understand, whereas with an interpreter, I get a full sense of what is happening. I get full access. It's not bad. Uh, uh, not bad. Uh, need more uh, of that. It's quite good. Uh, you can read yeah. it, but uh, yeah, we need more of that, so that then you can go along to the places um, and get your tickets. Interpreting is much better. I prefer that to captioning. But doing both is important. Not everybody speaks PSL. Oh, it's been really, really interesting to take the words out of it. Um, some of the other kids that were here before just thought it was great, and, and it's going to make a big difference. It will make a big difference.